BVN Girls Soccer is off to an incredibly strong start in their 2019 season. Out of their first nine matches, they've come away with seven wins, one draw, and only one loss. Creating a team that is so successful out the gate doesn't just happen overnight. It requires a careful combination of chemistry, skill, and training that all work together to create such a powerful machine. So training usually starts at 3.30. I get there 2, 2.20, 2.30. And for me, like setting up a training session is like serenity. It's kind of like my peace of mind just out there on the pitch, just me and, you know, soccer stuff. After warm up, we just, you know, we get started into phase one. So for me, the phase one is just the early, maybe little touches, little movements, you know, introduce the concept. What do I want to do today? We're going to get two groups of six, one group of five. They're just going to be playing just Rondo, okay? We're going to start with two touch and then we'll move to one touch. I think practices are a lot more structured than they used to be and that's been helping us because we have really good drills that help us with our touch and um, our passing. We are really focused, which may have not been the case in previous years. We're on task and we have a goal for each day that we're trying to work on and then we implement those into our game. Phase two now is a little more in depth, expanding on what the concept is from the first drill, phase one, into the second, right? And now we maybe add a goal, right? So now there's a winner and a loser. Uh, I'm really big on, on competitions. So if we turn around, we're gonna see three different lanes, okay? But three different lanes of cones. And then two feet, and then pass it back to me. You ready? After phase two, you know, depending on how that goes and, you know, if there's anything I need to tweak, whatever, we move into phase three, which is now expanding on that into a bigger field. So now it becomes more game-like situations that you can see what we're doing. I think overall, I think the girls are just playing good soccer, right? Uh, as simple as that sounds. We're doing a really good job of connecting passes and just keeping the ball away from the other team with our passes. We have a lot of depth on our team. In previous years, we've had one or two goal scorers, but it's been pretty spread out amongst the team. I, I mean, I think every coach kind of looks at what what could go wrong, and, and I think that's what a lot of our training is. But I think so far we've had a, a good enough showing. You know, it's gotten us here, but I know what our, our goal end goal is. I would say team bonding is essential to winning games, winning a state championship. Everyone on the team, we're all friends, we all love each other, and that really shows on the field because we know each other, we know our style of play, both on the field and outside the field. I think it's uh, it's been a very good um, environment that, that's been around the you know the, the soccer program so far this season. First game's a double overtime, you know, golden goal win by a, a freshman, you know, and I think now every game we play and, and every result that we get, you know, I think it's kind of all uh, just another step uh, for us getting to our goal, which is, is to be a state champion.